want to bring in Peter Schweizer now, president of the Government Accountability Institute, which tracks corruption. Also, former law clerk to Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch, Mike Davis. Gentlemen, good to have you both. Peter, what do you say to Mitch McConnell, who says Biden's activity, this doesn't warrant an impeachment inquiry. That's, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, uh, it's ridiculous. And of course, part of the problem is Mitch McConnell's family has their ties uh, to Chinese business entities that I've written about before. So yep. Mitch McConnell does not want to have a conversation about powerful American political families receiving sweetheart deals from foreign entities. And I would add to uh, you know what Philip Bump said from the Washington Post. I mean, are you kidding me? How does he think that corruption works in the third world? Uh, government officials don't take payments. They have their family members take payments. That's the methodology and the way that it usually works. And that's political science 101. These guys, these reporters know better. They simply don't want to cover this story because they've convinced themselves yeah. that Donald Trump is some existential threat. Uh, and they have some morally righteous reason to defend the, his political opponents at all costs. Yeah, and, and Peter, just a quick follow up with you. I mean, just the I, they've set this bar so insanely high that no amount of evidence is ever going to be good enough. I mean, if that was what it took to clear it, everybody in D.C. would be corrupt as hell. I mean, it would just you would be taking bribes left and right because there's no chance you'd ever get caught. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would ask these guys. Is it? Are they saying yeah. now the standard is in the future that the president, the vice president, the secretary of defense, that their family can be taking payments from Russia and China to the tune of millions of dollars, never providing any discernible business service, yeah. and that's acceptable as yeah. long as the secretary of defense himself or the president right. of the United States doesn't take the payments. It's a pathetic ridiculous standard and they know it they, they they certainly do mike davis uh obvious when you see that this one oligarch uh Baterina, was not sanctioned by president biden after russia invaded ukraine that is a bribe from the russians to the president of the united states and it's part of a pattern remember president obama put vice president biden in charge of ukraine and what did vice president biden do he cut he threatened to cut off a billion dollars and USA to Ukraine if the Ukrainian president didn't fire the Ukrainian prosecutor investigating the Burisma, Burisma and the Bidens. He, Biden bragged about this. What he left out is, is that the Bidens took a $10 million foreign bribe, five to Hunter, five to right. Joe. That is, that is whistleblower evidence at the FBI that was ignored for years. For years and years and years. It's, it, it's, again, it's one of the biggest scandals this country has ever seen, certainly politically. Peter Schweizer, Mike Davis, to you both, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.